Hi, I'm Candice Field and this is Talk Tax. As always, I'm here to tell you a little bit about taxation. But this time around, it's something that many of you would seriously be interested in, especially if you have a mortgage. Yep, if you have your own home, which you were able to acquire with a little, well not a little, a big help from the bank to either build that home or to buy it. I know you may have heard about the term by now and how you could also get a little help from the GRA to relieve you from some of the stress of having to pay all that interest on that mortgage yearly. Wait, interest, mortgage, relieving you? Sounds familiar? Yes, it is familiar because we're going to talk about that term mortgage interest relief and how you can get back some of that money that you otherwise would have been charged as interest by the bank. But you'll hear all the details as to how this can happen the right way when we return. The mining sector has over the years been making a significant contribution to the Guyanese economy, creating jobs, disposable income and spending in other sectors. Gold and diamond miners who have been at the center of the sector's achievements should be reminded that they have an obligation as every other income earner to pay their fair share of taxes. A message from the Guyana Revenue Authority. Okay, so we're going to talk about mortgage interest relief and some of you might still be contemplating applying to get some of that much needed relief while others might be thinking, yeah, I have a mortgage but I can't deal with the stress of going through all that paperwork submission just so that I can get some money from GRA. I already have so much stress working daily to get the money to repay the bank for my home to even call and find out what I need to submit to get the relief. Well, I'm here to help you with some of that information. But here's the thing, many first-time homeowners, yes, first and foremost, you must be a first-time homeowner to qualify for MIR. So many of you have applied for mortgage interest relief over the years since the legislation came into effect in 2013. You were approved and didn't get your relief. So now you're upset with GRA, but I can explain. Here's the thing. A number of changes were made to the legislation in 2015 that resulted in some delays and then effective February 1, 2017, another change occurred whereby persons to be approved for the MIR would be those with mortgages up to $15 million. In the past, those with mortgages up to $30 million would have been entitled to relief. But stop worrying and stressing so much, I have good news. The Mortgage Interest Relief Unit of the GRA has been working assiduously to ensure that persons who would have applied and were approved receive their payments which is given in the form of a refund. In fact, GRA is ready to make those calls to most likely happy applicants of the relief, some who would have been eagerly awaiting this refund and remember, this relief is a much needed 30% of the interest you would pay on your mortgages. So in what form did you get the relief? It is issued to persons when approved via a refund check from the Ghana Revenue Authority. And get this, some persons who also would have been issued approval letters years ago may still be awaiting relief. But there is good news for such persons, as GRA has been addressing those cases too. All you need to do is get that approval letter. Hopefully you still have it and contact GRA to see how you can reapply for the relief you are owed. But we'll talk more about MIR after this message. The Ghana Revenue Authority has introduced a post-clearance audit system to facilitate greater scrutiny of commercial cargo and more accuracy in the verification of declarations and assessment of duties and taxes. This new method will spare importers the worry of the merged costs, thereby fostering greater compliance. GRA, your partner in development. So some other delays in getting your mortgage interest relief, which you are anxious to receive, I'm sure. 
would have been because you may have been unaware that new requirements put in place recently indicate that you would need to, along with the other requirements, submit your property tax returns. In any event, there may be reasons why you would have been disapproved, and I assure you that you should not be despondent, even if you thought you should have been approved. Why? Well, if you did all that you are required to do for mortgage interest relief and you receive the letter of disapproval, there is a period of 15 days from the date you would have received the disapproval within which you can object to the disapproval by writing to the Commissioner General citing your concerns. So until next time, when I bring you more good news from the GRA, I advise you to call 227-6060 extensions 1201 to 1204 to get all the advice you would need on mortgage interest relief. But if you have applied, were approved and awaiting your relief, you better call GRA ASAP and see if that check is ready. So long.